If Biden really wants the oil companies to boost the production, this kind of talk is not going to help. Why would the industry cooperate with a president who seems to view them as the enemy? Here's what our go-to man for all things energy says, Rusty Brazil. If President Biden were to start sending signals that oil and gas can be a part of a long-term solution, then these companies will be much more willing to drill aggressively. But if the president keeps hinting that they should be out of business in a couple of decades, well, he won't lift a finger to help get the price down. They won't do it. They just won't. They'd rather just keep printing money and rewarding their shareholders with handsome dividends. How could Biden signal such a change? He could propose raising the tax credits for carbon sequestration as an incentive to drill more. He could say that he recognizes the need for more pipelines in order to get natural gas to where it's needed, so the process must be streamlined. And he could encourage, with tax incentives, the development of more liquefied natural gas facilities that can be used to export this stuff to Russia, which is desperate for non-Russian fossil fuels, particularly our own LNG. Presidents talked about the importance of liquefied natural gas, but then failed to work with the relevant companies to make that dream a reality. This is tragic because more LNG exports could help end the Russian stranglehold on, Russia, on Europe while also alleviating the global energy shortage. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.